We do. We've had grey go away birds and you can hear the Aramark babblers going crazy and there in the branches is a Varose eagle owl. So we have been so spoiled with the Varose eagle owls of late and it's because of this winter conditions it's a lot easier to see them. Also following birds alarm calls like this helps and we're able to then find them in these thickets but our Varose eagle owl I'm sure is just trying to have a little nap and the babblers are going crazy. Also the go away birds you can hear them calling too and this poor eagle I'm sure eagle owl is going to probably either have to move or just wait it out until these birds get tired of him and fly off but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. And you can see the camouflage how well it works when you've, they've got their back to you. Now imagine if that bird was right up against the branch of the tree. It's actually really difficult to see them. They're not easy to see at all. You can see the babblers on the right. Now, can you imagine having that shouting at you all day long? I don't know if I would be able to deal with it. I, I like babblers but not in large doses like this. They make a lot of noise and especially imagine them right next to your ear all the time and after a long night out it's an early morning and you just want to have a nap and you've got noisy neighbors not very pleasant at all i don't think so our babblers are bouncing around all in those sections and are just trying to give our owl a bit of trouble there's our owl turning around and having a grooming session the owl seems to have not have any worry whatsoever about these babblers you can see it's just kind of keeping the feathers nice and clean and i wonder if it's the same owl that had the kill the other day or part of that pair I would imagine so we're not very far from where that was we north of twin dams at the moment on elephant carcass and a straight line flight from here to there would probably be about 200 meters so I'd imagine it is one of those owls that forms that pair or in fact the very same owl that had the kill in the jackalberry tree now the visual of this one is not as good as what we had the other day but still nonetheless nice to see and, and always a good thing when we get to see owls and it's been a fantastic week regarding these guys we've just been seeing them all over the place which makes a change because we often go long periods without finding them the nice thing also is we've had a lot of sightings during the day of owls lately which has been fantastic generally we see the owls at night and you've got your spotlight and you kind of pick them up but we've had so many great sightings during the morning drives and even the afternoon drives. I know Taylor followed the Varose Eagle Owls for a while. There's been spotted Eagle Owls. There's been all kinds of things happening during the day. It's wonderful to see. And Byron's birdless should benefit greatly from seeing all these owls over the last few days. Because it's not something we tend to see that often. So you can see that babblers are starting to run out of steam a little bit. Getting a little quiet now. There's our owl just turning and looking. Looks like they had a rough night. The hair's all kind of slicked back at the moment and all over the place, feathers all ruffled. And that's because of the cooler weather, so it's just trying to trap air, but it looks a bit untidy this morning. Hopefully it'll kind of get everything sorted out and back to normal soon. But you can see, look how big those feathers are. Massive, large wings. Very cool. Now, from 